This is a video to show you how you can easily add native hardware wallet support to your app with Block Native's onboard JS library. I'm going to be using our React demo repo for this walkthrough video. You can clone the repo from github.com slash block native slash react demo and follow along, or you can simply add code to your existing onboard implementation. If you haven't previously worked with onboard JS, I would recommend watching our onboard quick start video first and then coming back to this video. Okay, so we have uh, onboard initialization code here in services.js. Uh, we have the wallets array, which is defining which wallets we would like to show to the user in the wallet select modal. So I'll go ahead and uncomment out the hardware wallet initialization objects. So currently we support Trezor and Ledger wallets, and they both require an RPC URL, which allows the provider to connect to an RPC endpoint. And Trezor has these additional parameters of app URL and email, and they are required for the Trezor manifest. Um, you can find more information about the manifest in the Trezor Connect uh, documentation. So we've added, added the wallets here, uh, and we will be able to see them come up in the wallet select modal. You've got Ledger and Trezor. Uh, but for a better user experience, we want to add the uh, wallet check modals uh, for hardware wallets. Uh, these aren't required, but if you would like your user to have the ability to select a derivation path and to select which account they would like to use with their wallet, uh, then we recommend adding these in here as well. So I'll add them in. And we can select a wallet. I'll select a ledger for this demo. We've got the wallet selected and we can go through the wallet checks. And so the first thing that comes up is the derivation path modal. And this allows the user to select from uh, a selection of common paths for that particular wallet, or they can input a custom path if they'd like. So in the case of Ledger, they have the Ledger legacy path, which was what was originally used when the Ledger first came out. Uh, and then they switched over to the Ethereum Ledger Live path, which follows the BIP44 standard. So for the legacy path, it's quite simple. We connect. Uh, we get the, pro the public key from the device and then we can generate uh, as many addresses as we need to from there. So the user has a selection from the account select uh, modal. They can also click load more and it quickly just loads another five more. Uh, but I will show you the ledger live path and how that works. So the ledger live path is a hardened path, which means you can only generate uh, addresses with the private key, so it has to be done on the device itself. So when we select this and we click connect, it will generate five addresses from the device one at a time. So it's a little bit slower for the user. So when they connect, you can see it's generating those addresses one at a time, but we still end up on the same account select modal uh, with those addresses. So we've also added into this demo a button to switch accounts uh, and that'll allow the user to click this at any time and it will just fire the derivation path and the account select modals allowing the user to, to switch accounts whenever they like. So I'll show you the code to do that. We've added this account select function on the onboard API and you can call that anytime you would like to allow the user to switch account. Uh, we've attached it to a button and you really only want to show this button to the user if we have a wallet connected, uh, if it is a hardware wallet and, and they're connected and have an address already. Uh, so I'm deriving this is hardware wallet state up here using the uh, wallet subscription callback. So we get called with the wallet object every time the user selects a wallet and I'm just setting it to a hardware wallet if the type is hardware. So the type is the key property you want to look for there. Uh, that defines whether the user has selected a hardware wallet. And then we go ahead and we render that button. So that's how that button works. Um, also show you how a custom path works. So we can click on custom path. And for example, you might want to connect your Ethereum testnet accounts. You can do that by changing the coin type field of the derivation path to one instead of 60, which is used for all Ethereum testnet accounts. So you can go ahead and connect to that derivation path and onboard will skip the account select modal and connect directly to the first account located on that path. 
This is due to the fact that with custom paths, onboard can't know which field to increment when generating multiple accounts and whether the root path is a hardened path or not. So onboard assumes that if a user is importing a custom path, then they know exactly which account they would like to connect to. So that's how you can easily add hardware wallet support with custom derivation paths to your app with Block Native's onboard JS.